My name is Frank, and this PowerPoint is on steganography detection. Within this presentation, I will explain the background, technology, impacts, and issues that steganography has on our society and the future. What is steganography detection? The first sign of steganography came from ancient Greece around 440 BC. There were several ways that exemplified these acts of hidden messages, specifically among the Persians. The Persians would shave the heads of the slaves and inscribe tattoos on their scalp. When the hair would grow back in, the tattoos would be unreadable. These slaves were then sent to neighboring villages where they would reshave their heads to read the messages. These messages usually consisted of warnings of invasions. Another way the messages were hidden were within stone tablets. The message would be carved into the stone and a layer of wax would be glazed over the tablet to hide the original message. A new message would be inscribed on the wax to act as a disguise for the true message being delivered. For a more recent perspective, steganography has evolved into a digital world. Steganography is used by spies and even accused terrorists, especially after the September 11th attacks. Uh, there have been counts of Russian spies being caught in the U.S. communicating through steganography on public websites. Steganography has evolved to work on computers using binary code, which is this picture on the current slide of zeros and ones, which are all switches in the brain of a computer. There are 8 bits in every byte, and there are millions of bit, uh, bytes within a picture or a document on a computer. So, uh, steganography tools change the least significant bits of a picture to bits within a document that is trying, that someone is trying to hide. The byte will still display the proper image and keep outsiders from viewing the hidden one because the, the significant bits were unchanged. Technology and tools. There are many tools that can detect steganography as well as create these hidden pictures. HIP is a tool that was used within the chorus load that hid the files within a picture. The SNOW program uh, uses white space within a text to hide the messages. The analogy used to express this is like trying to find a polar bear in a snowstorm. This is where the name SNOW comes from. It also uses an algorithm called ICE, which stands for Information Concealment Engine. This name is also consistent with the program name. Using this program and an encryption can make the detection process almost impossible. Easy Stego is also a program that hides information as well. As I explained in the previous slide, these tools look for insignificant bits. Steganography can be split into two main categories. These are linguistic and technical steps. Linguistic steganography is the process of hiding information in another document using symbols and signs. The information could also be within a carrier message. Technical steg is the use of microdots and scientific methods of reducing the size of pictures to hide the evidence. So if we visit this site, You see how the steganography can be split up. You see the technical steg, linguistic steg, and li linguistic steg goes to semigrams and open codes. Uh, semigrams uses symbols uh, and signals to transfer the messages. Open codes uses um, carrier messages which hide and encrypt the uh, actual image that you're trying to, to hide. Steganography has some serious societal impacts among people, not necessarily in an everyday environment, but to government and contact with others from different countries. Steganography can be used for a great deal of communication. It has its advantages when it comes to hiding things. It is extremely difficult to detect and it can be used for a multitude of things. It can be used in text files, pictures, 
audio files, and even movies. The other advantage to using steganography is that it is a quick process. The tools work quickly and efficiently to hide the documents as well as extract them if and only if the recipient is aware of the incoming message. The graph presented here um, is a program called Hex Editor. Hex Editor is a computer program that allows uh, the user to manipulate binary code. Um, and so the picture of the first graph is a JPEG without any modifications. The one to the right is the hex editor changing some of the binary code, which is all the mess. Uh, that is why the scale is so big. We take a look at the uh, web page that I designed. Um, you'll see that when you compare a picture, the it is almost impossible to see the difference. To the left here, we have a picture, um, which the original picture is on the left, and the stag picture is on the right. Uh, it is a small picture, so I'm, I'm sorry that it's hard to see, but the images are almost identical. Uh, there are small spots here and there of changed color which can't be perceived by the eye. Um, here's another picture that shows these small spots um, on this picture that were actually changed uh, due to the steganography. So steganography does so little to an actual image that it is hard to actually see. That's why it works so well. Along with the advantages of steganography in society, there are also disadvantages. The fact that anyone can use it is a scary thought. Terrorists were accused of communicating through steganography after September 11th, but it is still unknown if this actually did occur. It is bad because it is so hard to detect, unless a computer seized by the government has any trace of a steg program. It won't be searched. The process of detection would be too expensive and time consuming to come up negative. Unless there is a 99% chance of a positive result, the detection most likely won't be executed. Other disadvantages among both technical and personal problems. The technical side involves the sizing excuse me, of the files. In order for a file to be hidden, the carrier file must be a quarter larger than the encrypted file. The personal problem with steganography is being trustworthy. Information can be leaked at any time and is very easy if the right people aren't handling the evidence properly. The picture to the right represents three processes of embedding information within another document. Watermarking which is embed embedding information for authentication such as copyright protection or source tracking. Cryptography is a process of securing communications if there is a known presence of a third party. It is a process of overcoming an outsider in the event of hacking such as ATM cards or passwords on the computer. And the steganography is what we've been talking about all along with the process of hiding information in pictures and audio files to communicate under the radar. To summarize steganography, there are a few key points I would like to go over. It is an old process, as I stated before. It has been occurring since 440 BC. There are many forms of steganography that have evolved from tattoos to this day and age of digital computers and programming. Now that the majority of people use computers, it has become increasingly easy to use. It is extremely hard to detect without probable cause, and its detection process is expensive and time consuming. The only reason it isn't a big topic among everyday life is because it isn't used often. The process isn't practical unless it is a top secret information. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can email me at 
fgiles at my.uri.edu and check out my webpage for more in-depth explanations of psychonography detection.